Well, I didn't really get started in fiber art. I thought I was going to be a painter. I took a lot of painting. I did a lot of painting. I still do a lot of painting. But I do like fiber as an alternative. I do like stained glass. I like all the other arts. But um, again, my attention span is that of a gnat. So I would like to try everything. Um, tell me something new and different that's happening out there, and I'll try it. You know, usually fail. Obviously, my, my bank account tells me I haven't been very successful. But um, come on, ask me a question. I, you know my history at this point. Uh, these dolls came from a trip to London, of course, way back in the 50s when there were pearlies on the street on occasion. Pearlies are a society in themselves. They're like an English gypsy, and uh, their wealth was in the pearls that decorated their clothing. And they're wonderful to see. People would follow them in the street. Um, so I thought I'd have my own pearly, and my collection is right there of pearls. Oh, let me see. I thought I was going to be a famous painter at one time. Uh, I took very well to oil paints. I went through school many, many, many years. Um, did a lot of painting, but then I was also sidetracked into the fiber department and uh, did a lot of weaving. Um, a lot of worn out rugs in our house. Have uh, tried lots of other art mediums as well stained glass, be, uh, jewelry making, you name it, I've tried it. My attention span is not very long. I've been compared to a gnat. Um, and my inspirations come from everything. I love color, obviously. If you could see my paintings, you would no notice that. Um, what else do I do? I, I took a lot of t years off to raise a family and um, had an art fair. Uh, community art fair. I took time out for all kinds of, I, I'm easily interrupted too. Uh, love to do things when I have the time. But in painting, I find it's very difficult to put up with a lot of interruptions. Weaving and fiber work, you know, knitting, sewing, all those things um, are easily left and I can get back to them. What else do I do? Let me see. Okay, um, now, uh, now I want you to tell me about this piece. Oh, the pieces here are as, uh, probably as old as I am, uh, but uh, closely. They're representations of the English pearlies. Uh, you used to see them on the street way back in the 50s in London. They are a form of English gypsies. Their wealth was in their clothing and the pearls they're in, uh, they're on. Uh, let me see, what else? Do they tell? Nothing. It's just that they were interesting, exciting looking people and I was taken by them. Um, I have done other dolls, you know, angels at, for Christmas. I've done a wonderful witches because I am a fabulous witch. I have a hat that's, you know, five feet high and I am really ugly. And uh, it's fun scaring the kids on the street. You know, when even now when they go by, they'll say, well, let's cross the street. A witch lives in that house. I have a son who used to help me. Um, he would put the mask on, you know, the uh, rubber mask. And really, it, it was really fun. The parents usually had a drink or two when they brought their kids around to our house because uh, it, it had a reputation. Um, let me see. I also did a lot of... In the Scandinavian countries back then, again, I saw a lot of fabric collaging. And I did a lot of kids in fabric collage. This is when my kids were young. You know, you do what your life tells you to do in, in your various stages. Uh, then I, F, and the weaving part of it came into it again, and I did a lot of series of uh, uh, cities, cityscapes and weaving, which were so labor intensive that, again, with my short attention span, I didn't last very long at that. It's way too labor intensive, as I find weaving to be. So I am now in a group that does uh, projects every year called Women's Journeys in Fiber. I'm sure you'll hear more about this eventually, but it's very exciting for me because it's such a diverse group and the projects are, again, uh, very provocative.